focus on accessories and they really do work so hard for us in our wardrobes. Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So in today's video, I am breaking down my 10 piece capsule accessories spring wardrobe. And that is basically my go-to accessories that I use more than anything else at this time of year to style out my outfits, to give them more personality, make them look different. So if you haven't watched the video before this which looks at my 10 piece clothing capsule wardrobe I will link that below I highly recommend watching it you're going to see a lot of the same pieces styled up in this video basically just to focus on accessories and they really do work so hard for us in our wardrobes typically for my accessories it's where I often am happy to spend a little bit more on certain items that I know I'm going to get my cost per wear for for every recommendation I will leave alternatives in the description below you can choose which one will suit you best. But I do think this is a really good guideline that you can kind of use as a checklist and then you can tailor it to your needs. So without rambling on too much, let's get straight into it. And my first recommendation for your spring capsule wardrobe is a tan belt. There is nothing like tan in springtime and in summer, but especially in spring because it's just a gorgeous burst of lighter colors after the long winter. And I think a tan belt, so chic at this time of year. This one in particular is quite a bargain. This one is from River Island. I only picked it up recently. It's 25 euros, which I think is such a good price. It's got this thick, kind of vintage style gold buckle. It's like kind of aged. The leather looks a little bit aged. I actually had to check on the website because I thought that this could be real leather, but I feel like for 25 euro, um, it makes sense that it's faux, but I still think this is great quality. So I would wear a tan belt with cream, like off-white denim. It's so fresh. Blue denim, I would wear this with darker colors as well. Tan and black, tan and white. It just, it honestly looks good with everything. It is the perfect spring neutral for your accessories. So moving on, the next item I recommend in your spring capsule accessories wardrobe is a black belt because of course I still wear my black belts even in springtime as well. They still look so, so chic. But the one that I'm going to recommend for you is the Isabel Morant. I think it's called the Leche belt. It is is reversible so you're actually getting a tan belt and a black belt in one I will link an Amazon version as well which isn't reversible and isn't real leather but I will link it so you can check it out because it's a very good price but this one has the most gorgeous style so I've just really quickly tied it for you and you can see this knot detail is just so gorgeous. And I mean, the Isabel Morant belt, this is just such an iconic piece. I think we've seen it for years. It's a classic, it's not going anywhere. And I do think the price is fair. I would highly recommend getting the reversible one because you're getting two belt purchases in one. And a black belt, I feel like you don't need me to tell you how many ways you can style this. Do you think that this type of belt, this wrap leather version is really, really chic? And it's a great way to add a little bit extra interest to your outfits. I actually wore this a lot in a workwear video that I was styling recently which I'll link below and I got a lot of people asking about this belt when it comes to your classic combinations of tailored trousers and a shirt or jeans and a t-shirt sometimes adding an interesting belt just lifts everything up and that's why accessories are so important in our wardrobes they can really make or break an outfit so moving on to footwear the first pair that I'm going to recommend in your spring capsule wardrobe is a pair of classic loafers these are my absolute favorites. They're my Sam Edelman, I think they're called the Lorraine Loafer. And these have been well used and well loved. Buttery soft, there was no breaking in required with these and I would highly recommend them as an everyday shoe or a workwear shoe. I also really like how slim and elegant they are. I really noticed in the last few years that I gravitate more towards an elegant loafer. I like something a little bit slimmer. I find it a lot more comfortable. There are a lot of chunky loafers out there that have caused me a lot of blisters and a lot of pain over the years. So I don't really trust them, but these are fantastic. I'm showing you a black pair today, but for spring, I would recommend a tan pair. There's a pair of And Other Stories leather tan loafers. They come in at under 100 euro. They also have the horse bit gold detail. I think they're a great buy. I haven't ordered them yet, 
but I will be getting them for spring. Those are the ones that I do recommend. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. When you pair your loafers with your belt and you have kind of a simple outfit like jeans and a t-shirt or denim, it just is so gorgeous and so fresh and so nice for spring. So next up for footwear, I highly recommend a pair of ballet flats for your spring capsule wardrobe. They are just so chic, they're so timeless and they're so comfortable as well. This pair is probably my top recommendation. They are my Marks and Spencer leather ballet ballet flats. They were 55 euro and they are such a good buy. I have done full days in town trotting around in these and they're brilliant. I think the key with a ballet flat is you need to have a decent footbed and these are like comfortable but sturdy nothing pinches like they're soft but they hold their shape i think if you have a tan loafer and then a black ballet pump you're going to be covered for all bases but you can get gorgeous ballet flats in creams and tans beiges and i will link some similar ones below another brand that i really rate for ballet flats are flattered i really would love to get a pair of theirs they seem gorgeous MS has some really really good ones too arquette river island have really good more affordable ones some of them are aren't real leather but they're still really really nice so I will link a bunch of options below. I wear my ballet flats so much in spring. I love them paired with denim. They're even really nice with tailored trousers. If you get the length of your trousers right and your fabric isn't kind of pooling on the ground then I love it with a ballet flat. I think it's so chic. And the last pair of shoes that I recommend in your spring capsule wardrobe is of course going to be a trainer and my top recommendation is surprise surprise the Adidas Sambas. I'm definitely not the first person that you've been hearing talking about these but guys I resisted buying them for so long and then eventually I picked up a pair and the hype is real. They're really comfortable and they're really easy to wear with everything. I have been wearing these with my denim, my cropped denim, my wide leg denim. I wear them with tailored trousers. They look great with skirts, with satin midi skirts. I do predict in the summer that I'll be able to wear these with dressier items, with floatier dresses. They're just such a handy one to have. So this is definitely one of the classic styles. Um, you can get lots of different colorways. I would really love to have kind of a creamy or beige or even like brown toned pair. I'll link some similars below. These of course are the Sambas, but I would highly recommend checking out the Speziales and also the Adidas Gazelles. They're so similar, they come in at around 120 and they have some amazing colorways. So depending on what you kind of like and what you wear, you could go for a pop of color, which would be super fun, or you could go for something more neutral like this. I personally like this because it just goes with everything in my wardrobe. So now let's move on to some handbags. And the first one that I'm gonna recommend for you spring capsule wardrobe is a tan handbag and this is quite possibly if not definitely my favorite handbag for spring right now this is the Demelier New York in the midi size and it's in the tan grain with the beautiful white kind of cream stitching and it's just my perfect spring summer bag especially for spring I feel like this tan color is so gorgeous you can see when I hold up my tan belt next to it the color match is so nice and honestly it just looks so gorgeous with so many outfits. I've worn this bag with this denim shirt with a pair of similar color denim jeans. I've worn this with lovely kind of cream off-white colors in a tonal look. This also looks great with black. It's just a great all-rounder color. Black and tan are the most versatile colors for accessories. Demelier is one of those brands that sits in the kind of mid-range price point and this bag is around the 500 euro mark but really the quality of craftsmanship, the detailing and how sturdy these bags are. I do think it's worth it. I've had some of their bags now for over two years and I have the larger version of this New York tote in like the larger tote size and it's lasted me so so well and like the grained finish on this is going to be so durable. It's just a great bag. I really love it. So along with your tan bag I am also going to recommend a classic black handbag and the one that I feel like you will probably get the most value out of and I certainly have is the Songmont Luna. This is a multi-way bag. You may have seen it in one of my previous videos, but it can be worn four different ways, which is just so clever especially when you're making a purchase like this it's upwards of 300 euros i do have a discount code for them and i think it's still active i'll leave it linked in the description below it should get you 12 percent off i just think it's a really gorgeous bag it has these nice gold details that nice grained leather again is going to be super sturdy it's something i look for a lot in my handbags because it just makes my life so much easier and i've been wearing this so so much it's great for styling with outfits and again that versatility just means you get even more customizations 
And when we're thinking of things in terms of a capsule wardrobe and, you know, finding the best value quality items, I think this is a great one. So the next item that I recommend in your spring capsule wardrobe is a good baseball cap. And honestly, this is something that I live in pretty much all year round, but especially in springtime. When it is really cold in winter, I'm more so wearing beanies and heavier hats, but in the spring when it is still chilly, a baseball cap just saves my life. One that I'm probably gonna recommend above any others is the Ralph Lauren polo cap. These are honestly so, so good. I had this for such a long time, but I brought it with me on a cruise and lost it and then rebought it. And that's how much I love it. It's just so handy. And this beigey neutral color is my favorite. It just goes with everything. And it looks great with my darker coats. It looks great with lighter fabrics. If I'm wearing denim, it's just so handy to throw on. So I have my beige one, which I probably wear the most because it's just so easy to throw on. I also really like this red one, which I picked up recently from Sporty and Rich. I really wanted to get the Cherry and Nina Bing, their like burgundy one. It was so cute, but it was sold out everywhere. But then I found this one and it was on sale for like 35 euro and I love it. It's so nice with denim. I actually wore it with this when I was in London. And then I also have this brownie one. It's kind of brownie red from Ghani. Again, I got this on sale. It was like 30 or 40 euro. Um, so you definitely can get really nice caps for around or under 50. While I don't wear these when I'm getting very dressed, up I live in these day to day not just because they're a cute accessory but also because of the sun protection so every day when I walk the dog I'm wearing one of these like I live in them I actually really want to get the navy version of this Ralph Lauren one they do a navy one with a red um, little stitching detail and it's so cute so I actually think I need to get that for the last two items in my spring capsule wardrobe we're going to look at sunglasses because they are just one of the staple accessories that I use to finish off any outfit and there are two different versions that I recommend you pick up just so you can have some kind of options and I feel like you'll be covered for all bases and the first one is a pair of classic black sunglasses. Now the classic black ones should be very minimal with not a lot of details and just a very sleek pair that suits your face shape. The one that I probably wear the most and that I would recommend for most anybody is this cat eye pair. These are the Saint Laurent Mica sunglasses and they are so popular and I can see why they're just a very flattering style. They're kind of like a modern cat eye and they just look so chic. Honestly, every outfit that I put these on with, they work. I have yet to find an outfit that these don't work with. And that's what I think is so handy about them. So these are a really, really good shout. There is a very similar version available on the high street from And Other Stories. And I will link it below. It's very, very similar. I've seen them in person. Actually, my friend has them and they're gorgeous. So I will link them, but these are super quality. And I've had these for, I want to say, at least two years and nothing has happened to them, which is great, uh, but I love them. Final item in my capsule wardrobe accessories checklist is a pair of statement sunglasses. Now this can completely depend on what your personal style is, but I think that a pair of sunglasses that aren't black, that are just a little bit more interesting, maybe they're a different color, uh, but just something that's a little bit different that you can use to style up your outfits. So the pair that I'm currently loving and that I really recommend are these 70s aviator style. These are by the brand Vela. They're a gorgeous sunglass brand. This is the Dixie style and they're just so gorgeous. They're definitely a little bit more statement. They're more 70s inspired, more kind of vintage energy and I just love them. This is the tortoise shell frame with I think the sage lens and I love them. And I do think by statement sunglasses, you don't even need to get something that's this statement. You could just go for a tortoise shell frame. You could go for the clear acetate frame, I think is really cool too. I just love these for spring and I know I'm going to be wearing them so much coming into summer as well. For me, I do wear my sunglasses all year round, but when it comes to spring and summer, I like having some pairs that feel a bit fresher, a little bit more summery kind of energy. And I feel like these are just that. They're such a good pair. I will link these below but I will also link some alternatives if you didn't want to go for this style there are so many other versions you can go for round sunglasses you could go for a classic metal aviator style so there you have it guys that was my 10 piece accessories capsule wardrobe for spring I hope you enjoyed do let me know in the comments which item was your favorite and I would also love to know what is your spring capsule wardrobe what are the pieces that you live in at this time of year I would absolutely love to know if you liked this video and you'd like to see more capsule round 
roundups like this, then do give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.